Okay, good morning, guys. I am going to show you um, the before picture. I wanted to make sure that I'm not in any shots. I'm trying to make sure the mirror is guarded. I haven't gotten dressed yet. But this is the before picture of my closet. I really want you to see, see the chaotic mess. And I'm going to transform this closet into, um, you know, a nice organized space. So this is the before as I pan up from the floor. This is my closet with things just kind of thrown all over the place. I'm showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's my side of the closet. I'll pan down by my shoes and boots. And it does look a little bit extra messy in here because some of the pink hangers that I put in my youngest daughter closet, I was using in here. So I took clothes off those pink hangers, so I just kind of threw those down. So it's messy in here, and I'm not quite that messy. I, won't, I want to make sure I don't get on camera because I'm still in my bathrobe, guys. But that's from the mirror version. So that's my side of the closet. Shoes, sweaters... Um, jackets, and then of course all the clothes just kind of thrown in there. And as you can see, I usually keep them kind of organized according to color, but I'm going to reorganize everything. I got a place where all my bags are, you know, I just hang all my bags here. Scarves and different things. Um, and a couple of bags I've just got thrown down there. Okay, and here's my husband's side of the closet. We do share a walk-in, something that I kind of regret. When we built this home, uh, we had the option of having another master closet, and I didn't want to forget uh, forego bathroom space, so we decided to share a closet. Again, you can tell at some point it used to be organized, but I think with, the, with all the same hangers, it's just going to make it look nicer in here. Here are shoes of his. Okay, so this is the before. And when I get back, I will show you the after. Okay, on your mark, get set, organize. This is the space that I am trying to organize next, the master closet. I want to show you the before of how big the space actually is. I share this space with my husband. There's a shelf on one side, a shelf in the middle. Those are the bins that I bought from Ross. They were uh, $3.99 a piece. I think those are going to work out really well. If I find more of those, I'm probably going to use more of those because those will be really good storage uh, units for both myself and my husband. A nice neutral color. He didn't want anything too girly and I don't want anything too plain. So I'm going to attempt to make this a nice space for both of us. A good compromise. But since I'm doing the organizing, guess what? <laughs> You know who'll get the final say, right? This is a mirror that I bought probably from Ross. No, I think I bought this from Marshall's Home Goods. The price may still be on it. I'm not sure. Um, let's see if I can find the price. But it really was a big mirror. I couldn't find a place for it. It looks great. I can't find the price either, but it was a good mirror. You know I probably paid little or nothing for it. A nice heavy mirror that probably is about, if I'm six feet... Almost six. It's probably like a seven foot mirror. But anyway, this is a uh, place without anything in it. And here's the after. Okay, guys, as you know, I've been organizing all the closet spaces in my home. The last space that needed to be organized was the master closet. And uh, I'm getting ready to show you the video of the finished product getting organized, the frugal niche away. Not for a lot of money. This organization. Um, systems cost upwards in the thousands I've seen. You go to a con container store and you find things for $10, $12, $15. I took the same concept, but I use places like the Dollar Store and Ross to get organized. And I think it came out pretty good. So let me get started. I'm going to start on my husband's side and show you uh, his space. Those are all his shirts. I'll just pan it first. I'll pan the entire, his side of the room. Oh, 
Okay, let me show you how I do it the cheap way or, or frugal way. I hate using the word cheap because cheap and inexpensive are two different things. Inexpensive and frugal are better words. I bought these to you in a haul. These came from Ross for $4. So that's $12. I found another one. That's $16 I pay, paid for storage, okay? They are very masculine looking. They have an industrial look. My husband didn't want anything too frilly, and I didn't want anything too plain. So I think this is a great compromise for both of us. I decided to get it in the black and in the bone. So that's kind of the overall color theme of the room, back, black and bone. I was going to paint the walls in here, which I don't think I really need to. Um, I decided to use black hangers to give it an even more uniform look. All of these hangers came from Big Lots. I organize his shirts from light to dark, which is easy for him to find what he needs. Here is a hanging sweater container that I use to put his Eagles jersey in, a hat he wears. Um, here's some uh, more paraphernalia with his sports teams on it. Here's a Sixers jersey, another Eagles jersey, um, some sweaters. And because these bins are so big, I decided to take his shoes off the ground also and use these for his shoes also. Here's a pair of shoes and another pair of shoes in the bottom container. Now, this is really neat. These cost $1. We organized all of his ties, which they held 20 each. I organized all his ties on these little tie hangers from the dollar store. So now when he needs to tie, all he has to do is come in here and twirl. Not literally, but just twirl this. My husband doesn't twirl. I trust. <laughs> but all he has to do is come in here and pick out a tie, and everything is nice and organized. I organize the ties according to length. These are the longer ones. My husband's very tall, and these are just regular size. I tried to persuade him to get rid of these, sell them, give them to Goodwill or something. He wasn't having it, so he's keeping it. But at any rate, they're nice and still organized. They're just not jumbled up somewhere in a pile. Okay? Then all of his dress shirts, I organized them according to from light to dark on black hangers. And then his suits start here. We use wood hangers with a black hang um, hook from light to dark with extra hangers here. So he has extra hangers and more room for if he, if he buys another suit. Um, the bins came from Ross for $3.99 and he stores his blue jeans in one. Let you take a peek. He has shorts and these. That's another pack, uh, another actually um, organizer for shoes. So I, I'm just going to keep that in case, you know, we buy new shoes and need another organizer. But that's another organizer in bone. But those are his shorts in there. I forget what he puts in this one. Oh, those are his sweatpants. So really good to make things look uniform. You can't even tell what's in it. You could put dirty clothes in there if you wanted to, t-shirts. So that's basically it on his side. I think we did a really good job in the compromise of not being too girly and not being too masculine in here. Now my side. I'll pan for you. Here's the top shelf. Here's the middle. And here's the bottom. Now I'm going to start behind the closet door is my old trusty robe, my blue robe, nice and comfy. I decided to put that on a hook. And then I have another hook here that can house something else if I want it to hang up. It can, you can put purses on that. Another robe if my husband wore a robe. Yeah, right. Uh, he could put that on that hook. But it's a cute little hook. Both hooks came from the dollar store. So that's one, two dollars. Okay. And on this mirror that I that we got from um where did I get this from? Home Deep now. Um Home Goods. Probably got it on clearance. I might have paid I'm not even sure how much I paid for it. There's not a price on it. But you know me, it wasn't much. It had to be on clearance for me to get it. I decided to put one of my bags here. 
this is a bag. Uh, a lot of times I save the stuffing for my bags because I don't like them to lose their shape. And I really don't like hanging my bags on things because sometimes the leather will leave an imprint. But this doesn't. Um, it's uh, actually made out of a faux snake, I think. And um, I just hung this here so it's not going to leave a print. It still looks, you know, it's displayed nicely, I think. I think it even acts as um, almost like decoration. So I decided to hang a purse from there. And then I put all of my bags on the top shelf of my closet, which before I was just kind of throwing stuff up there. So that way I displayed everything nicely. I put all of that as almost like a display. So And then I can find everything. I, it's, it, visually, I can see it. And all I have to do is grab and go. Okay? These are the shoes I bought to you in one video. I told you guys to comment on. <laughs> I call them stripper shoes. And the funny story is, these were just in the... I've had them probably like two weeks maybe. These were just in the bottom of my closet. I decided to use it as decoration. And when my husband came in here and saw the space, the first thing his eye went to were these. He went like, whoa. <laughs> Why don't you wear these tonight? I told y'all that these are stripper shoes. You know it looked like you should be on the pole. Anyway. Um, there is a painting in the back that I picked up from Ross for $10. It just has a black dress on it. I want to keep the theme of the room with the black. Uh, this little painting came from the Christmas tree shop for four bucks. I haven't even taken the hardware off. I'll take all that off in a minute. I want to see how I liked it first, but I'll th I think I'll end up keeping that there. And this is the same cube that my husband has, but I decided to, to turn it this way so you couldn't see the inside. So it doesn't look as masculine on my side. And in here I keep all of my scarves, pashminas, uh, sweaters, you know, just hidden away. You can't even tell what's in this bin. Okay. Here uh, is a shoe hanger. I put 10 pair of shoes in here. I actually threw a couple of my husband's shoes in here. So when I need a shoe, all I do is pull it out, pull out a shoe and put it back. Nice place to display. You can see what you're getting. And this is where uh, we use the hangers from Big Lots. They're velvet, so all of the dresses stay put. Nothing slides off. You don't have to use those little annoying hooks they put on so you to hook around. And what I'll do is come back, because I was trying to organize this side from light to dark. That's why you see all the different hangers, you know, mixed in. I'll come back through and even organize even better by putting all of the hangers that look alike, like all of the pink, all of the blue, all of the orange, all of the light uh, uh, colors together. But again, it still looks nice, even though I haven't done that. All of my jackets are across this row. And on the bottom... I have all my pants and skirts hung on a bar. This bar, which was really good in organizers, it holds on, it fits onto here, and it's able to split the space. So you have a bar here and a bar here. See? To hang everything on. That's really cool. Down below, I have all my boots. According to color, I have a sweater hanger, but I decided to display my sunglasses and purses in it with scarves. So I just, just you know, displayed everything, just gave it a look, that whole department store look in here. Uh, little evening bags, more small bags here with my sunglasses. Another shoe rack with just all my light colored shoes. And then another split hanger with uh, things on the bottom row and things on the top row. That really was a good investment, this little pole thing. And that's it, guys. I'm going to pan out again so you can see the organized space. It looks so much better in here. It feels so much better in here. You can just feel like you want to get dressed. You're not going through a hassle of trying to find what you're going to wear on both sides. And I think I did a good... Um, you know, a good thing of combining the two sexes, him not wanting anything too feminine and I not wanting anything too masculine. So, okay. Um, that's it. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.